Hi guys! So, long time no see. Um, I wanted to make a video for you really quick to talk about my fundraiser packets. So, oh hi, Guy Forrest, um, independent, independent, oh my goodness, Sensi Consultant and leader of Team All the Waxy Ladies. Um, so, I just ran my first fundraiser and, well, it ends tomorrow. So I'm still running my first fundraiser. Um, and it's a full catalog fundraiser, and it is a um, in-person fundraiser as well as an online fundraiser. So I kind of made this my own, and I don't know yet if it really worked for me or not, because um, it ends tomorrow, and I'll go and start inputting everything tomorrow and all that. So I will have to make an updated video to let you know if this works for me or not, but I figured I would show you at least like the packets that I made and kind of explain what I did. So I'm doing this for um, a dance studio for um, competition team fees. So I made these packets and they went out to the whole team. Um, and I believe the fundraiser ran for about two weeks. I wanted to leave it open for a long time because I wanted to give people multiple um, times to purchase, lots of time to purchase. Um, so I made these packets and I sent them to all of the kids that are on the competition team. And I also created a link for them to shop from online for those that are not local because we were trying to get as many orders as possible. So here's the thing. Um, my kids that are doing this fundraiser are earning the money for the items that they sell. So it's not just going to the entire business or group as a whole. It's going to each individual child. So in order to make sure that I had each child's order accounted for and whatever, um, in my packet I made a form that literally says online orders must be added onto this form when you turn in this form um, or else you won't receive credit for these orders. So any orders that aren't going to be attached to a child are just going to go as a whole to the team, so I'm just going to kind of split them up evenly to the, to the rest of the team. I'm donating 20 to 25 percent of my um, commission to them, which I earn 25 percent commission every month. And if the order is over 2,000, I'm going to earn 30 percent commission. Um, so that's where the 20 to 25 percent comes in because I did have to take a little bit of money for um, the cost of this, the cost of um, my packaging materials for when I package all the orders up all cute and things like that. So I took 5% for myself, um, but like I said, that's going not really to me, it's going into the materials, um, like the fundraiser packets and the um, packaging materials and things like that. So if they get $2,000 in orders, then the kids will earn 25%. If they get less than $2,000 in orders, then the kids will earn 20%. Um, so that's why it's 20 and 25%. We'll just have to wait and see till all the orders are in. So, I ordered these envelopes off of Amazon. Um, I don't remember what size they are. I want to say they're like 9 by 12. They're pretty big, um, and they're just white. I liked the white ones better than the manila ones, just because I'm extra. I think they might have cost slightly more, but um, I like the white a lot more. And I did have a sticker on here. I don't on this packet, because I just threw this together really quick. Um, but it did have a sticker that said the fundraiser organizer name, the studio name, and then it had like a little QR code to scan to order. Um, and it has the child name, and then how much money is included in the envelope, because when they turn it back in, there might be money in it. So I want to make sure that all the money is accounted for. Um, so that's, that's that. I created these um, trifold uh, brochure things on Canva. Um, it didn't line up perfectly, but it kind of is what it is. Um, so I'll read you it. On the front, it says, get excited, you're doing a Sensi fundraiser. You'll be receiving 20 to 25% of your sales before tax. Inside, you will find showcase brochure, bundle and save flyer, five order forms. Please see fundraiser organizer if you need more. So I did make sure to give them the... Um, Digital copy, if they need more, the kids can just go to the studio and get more order forms. Then it says, some important info to note. I accept cash, Venmo, Zelle, Facebook Pay, and Apple Pay. See included electronic payment options. Your supporters may also place their orders online through the fundraiser link to have it shipped directly to them. Your fundraiser will run from Monday, November 2nd to Friday, November 20th. Order forms and money must be turned in by Saturday, November 21st. Once orders arrive, I will deliver orders to you so you can distribute distribute them to your supporters. If supporters are not local, please have them place their orders online. 
Um, orders can be placed online or by using the included order forms. Make sure you add tax to your orders. See included tax cheat sheet for more info. Orders placed online must be attached to the fundraising link and logged on the online order list. See included online order list. If you do not add them to this form, you will not receive credit for the order. If an order is placed online, your supporter will be charged tax and shipping based on the area they live in. The order will also ship directly from Sensi. Second page. Electronic payment options. Supporters already decided what they want to order. Have them send me their payment directly. Directions. Have them text me, Gaia Forest, and then has my phone number. They will tell me their name, fundraiser name, who they're supporting, and the order total. Then have them simply scan the appropriate QR code with a phone, just use the camera function, or look me up. And then it's got my Venmo QR code, my Zelle with my phone number, um, my Facebook, just my Facebook page, um, QR code, but it actually sends you right to message me from that QR code to send me a message. Um, so then I will just, they'll send me a message like, hey, I need to pay, and then I'll be like, okay, here we go, you know, whatever. And then at the bottom I put, I also accept Apple Pay. I don't really use Apple Pay that often, so I don't usually add it as an option, but I wanted them to have that option this time. And then on the next page it says, thank you so much for your support. It means the world to me. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. And then there's a picture of me, my face. And it says Gaia Forest, Independent Sensi Consultant. And then it says, shop with me, my website link. Want to see our current specials and or clearance? Head to my website and check out the specials and collections tab. If you choose to shop online, be sure to click a current party in the top left hand corner of my website. And then it has my email and then it says text me and it has my phone number. And then you open it up and it says how to place online orders for non-local supporters. Have them head to my website and then it has my website or scan the QR code below with a phone camera to shop online. Make sure they click shop a party button in the top left corner of my site and choose the fundraiser they'd like to support. That actually should have said my parties, but it's fine, it's not a big deal. Um, then make sure you add your supporter's name to the online order list included in this packet. If a supporter's name isn't included in your online order list, you will not receive credit for their order. And then there's a little asterisk. Please note, supporters will be charged tax and shipping when shopping online. And then really big down there, I've got the QR code to go directly to the party link. Over here, there is my tax cheat sheet. Each order you collect will be charged tax. Don't forget. Example, and then it gives a breakdown of, you know, the item cost with the tax and adding tax and all that stuff. And then it says, want to connect with me more? Scan the QR code below with your phone camera, and that takes you directly to my link tree, which my link tree um, page has all kinds of stuff. It has my Facebook, my Instagram, um, I think it has brochures in it, I think it has my join page. It's got all kinds of stuff. My link tree is like all linked up. So that's how I usually um, direct people to things because that way they can get to my website, they can get to my Facebook, they can get to my Instagram, like they can get everywhere from one page. So I use that a lot. And then on the back it says, want to join my team? And then it's got the whole Sensi thing with the starter kit and like make it yours thing um, because I needed space filled up. So I was just like, yeah, sure, maybe I'll recruit some people. We'll see. So that's the packet or the, um, the trifold that's in here. And then I've also got order forms. Um, this is an order form that I actually created. There's five of them in each packet. Um, and then they can get more from the studio if they need more. But basically, basically, it's just got um, a place for the customer's name, address, um, phone, and email. And then it's got the date and the seller's name, very important. And then it's just got product and cost. And then down here it says payment, like what types of payment. Cash, Venmo, Zelle, Facebook Pay, Apple Pay, they just check it off. And then it's got subtotal, sales tax, total amount. I'm not charging shipping because I figured that if this party doesn't reach the 500 minimum for free shipping, that I would just add in some orders because I've got some orders to place anyway and I would just bundle it all together. But it's already reached that online, so I'm not worried about it at all, so that's why I didn't charge shipping. Um, if you want to charge shipping, you totally can. I've got a bundle and save page. This is actually a photocopy um, of a catalog, because for some reason I was having issues. The um, like printing it from the digital catalog was really blurry, and I just couldn't get it to work, and instead of messing with it, I just grabbed a catalog and photocopied it. 
so much easier. Um, so I wanted to put the bundle and save options in because I know that a lot of people like that. And with the showcase brochure, I don't think that you can really see the bundle and save. So that's why I put that in there. And then also there's a showcase brochure in all of them. Um, you know what this looks like. And it would have like my sticker or my stamp on the back of it. Like I said, I just threw this together so it doesn't have that info. But it would have my contact info. And then this is my online order sheet. So this is the sheet that the kids need to turn in if they have any online, if anybody goes to my website and orders online. And it just says online orders. Um, if your supporter places their order online, place their name on this list. Please note, in order for you to receive credit for their order, your supporter's name must be on this list. If you do not add them to this form, you will not receive credit for the order. And then it says supporter name and order total before tax. So there's that. This is kind of the way that I thought to keep track of whose order goes with what child if the customer slash supporter places their orders online. Um, because I didn't feel like messaging every person, hey, who's your order going towards, blah, 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 you know, whatever. Um, so that's the way that I'm dealing with that, and I said it multiple times that if you don't put their name on that list and they ordered online, you're not going to get credit for it. It's just going to, I didn't say that it's going to get broken up between everybody, but it's going to get broken up between everybody because I still want to make sure that everybody gets some, some of the money. Um, I don't want to just keep it for myself because that would be a little unfair. So that's my packet. Um, I've already had quite a few online orders. Um, I had a few online orders that are new, that are customers um, that I don't know of, like they're new customers to me, that were not included in the um, party link. And I'm going to wait and get the kids' packets back and see if any of those names are on my online order form. And then I'll just give the kids credit. It's not in the party, but it is what it is. Um, if those names are not on the online order list, then obviously I'm just going to keep those orders for myself for my own commission. Um, and then if there's anything not on the online order list, it'll get broken up and, you know, we'll see. So that's kind of that. I hope that I covered everything. I think that I did. Um, if you have any questions, for sure let me know. Um, I can definitely, the uh, graphics that I created or the, the packets and things like that that I created, I will link below and I will put them in my Google Drive or Dropbox or whatever I use. I don't even remember what I use. I think I use Google, Google Drive. Um, so I'll put it in there so that you can um, use it if you would like to. Um, but if you have any questions, for sure let me know, and then when I get orders and, you know, all that, I can do another part two video <laughs> updated and let you know how it went and if there was anything that I would change or anything like that. But so far, it's gone good. I haven't had a lot of crazy questions. I've had a few people uh, message me and ask if their order went through correctly and things like that, which they've been totally fine. Nobody's had any issues yet. So we'll have to wait and see till I get order forms and cross our fingers that it was successful because if it was, then I feel like this was a pretty good way to run a full catalog online and in-person fundraiser. So yeah. All right. If you guys have any questions, like I said, let me know. If not, I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.